Can it be done in a minute or less? Let's try with this quick review of bags and boarding with Southwest. With the ability to check two bags free, boarding with Southwest is lightweight. Fewer people seem to lug bags to the gate, so it makes the process easier. But how does the boarding process work, and what can you carry on? Southwest boards by groups of 30. In order, these groups are A1 through 30, A31 through 60, B1 through 30, and so on. Your number is determined, such as A46, by the time that you checked in. The later the check-in, the lower the number. Lining up at the gate is pretty straightforward with about six numbered posts. A1 through 30 lines up on one side, and A31 through 60 lines up on the other side. The gate agent then calls each group and offers boarding for families and others needing additional time. On all flights taken for this review, one carry-on and one personal item was allowed, like a messenger bag. You can also bring on an extra plastic bag, like an airport shop bag or food bag. Once on board, seating is open. You choose where you want to sit. The earlier you check in, the more choice you have. It also helps to check in early for overhead bag space. It did tend to run low around B31 through 60. So that's it on bags and boarding. For more on Southwest, check out five ways to save time, money, and avoid fees with Southwest. Thank you for listening.